Hi. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to make a video <laughs> at the fire station. <sighs> I wish I had something like fun to say. I could be such a smart ass when, when the camera's not on, but I guess it's And it talk like you're talking to, to Kim Tran. They pretend that that's Kim Tran. That's station one right there. Do I need to call Kim Tran and FaceTime him and have him up there? What's up everybody? Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, something a little bit different today. Uh, before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. First time really get in front of the camera so I don't know which way to point, whether it's down over here or somewhere over. <laughs> well, these guys are really good at stuff, I'm not. Um, we appreciate y'all's support. Subscribing helps us keep making these videos. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's important to us to, to get this stuff out. So, uh, first off, I'm John. This is my wife, Stephanie. Um, we wanted to come and introduce ourselves for the first time in front of the camera uh, on the channel. Uh, a little bit about me. I started off in the military in 2002 till 2006. Did six months in Baghdad. I was a paramedic for the United States Army Special Operations Command. Uh, I was on an ODA attached to, to 5th Group, uh, ODA 551. Um, so it was a very interesting time. Got a chance to uh, do a lot of trial by fire, learn a lot of stuff real fast um, overseas. Came back from that. Uh, firefighting is in my family. My dad's been on the fire department since 1991 up north. He's now a deputy chief. So I applied here in Shreveport. Uh, worked for 11 years uh, over there uh, as a fireman and as a paramedic and then went to the sheriff's office uh, here in Caddo Parish to help run their social media, um, do what I love doing, and that's making videos about first responders. Got to do that for a couple of years. Uh, very grateful to, to Sheriff Prater and, and Cindy Chadwick for, for uh, allowing me to come in and do that for that time. Uh, and then I stepped off uh, to start creating content full time. Uh, I work for an amazing family, uh, the Mitchellek family. Um, they, uh, we got about 1.5 million subscribers on their YouTube channel really enjoy what I do there and uh, they've made it possible for me to do this uh, full time um, and, and continue to improve my skills. Um, it's, uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a fun thing, it's an amazing thing getting to create content, especially in this day and age, you know, trying to entertain people while all this bad stuff's going on. Um, but that's, uh, that's how I got to be where I'm at. Um, I met John while he was in the fire academy, um, and then we just, you know, hit it off and love story after that. <laughs> I, um, I also worked for the Shreveport Fire Department for six years as a dispatcher. I'm an EMT. I went through paramedic school, and I also help. Did, I don't know if you even mentioned that you volunteer and you uh. work for Fire Street 4, <laughs> one, of our, um, one of our fire departments in, in our local um, fire district. Here. But I, I <laughs> here, <laughs> right here. But um, I'm also a volunteer, or have volunteered in the past as an EMT and um, firefighter. I do have my firefighter one. But um, other than that, I'm just a mom now, and um, help raise five, <laughs> five amazing children. <laughs> and um, I'm also a photographer, and, and help you know John with the business and you know stuff like that. So. That's where we, we're, we're, we say that to, to show that we, we're, we're coming from uh, this, the first responder side. Uh, her dad's also a chaplain. Um, it, it's what we do. It's in our blood. You know, it's, uh, it, it's serving people is uh, something we've always enjoyed doing. Now, questions y'all might have. Uh, we shut down a lot of social media when it came to Black Helmet Films. We stopped making videos on the YouTube channel. Um, a lot of crap just happened. I, mean, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, it, just, it just sucked. Uh, between the stress of the job, which every one of these guys and, and men and women that are out there, uh, law enforcement, fire, EMS, uh, dispatch, the first first responders, you know, feel like they get left out a lot. Uh, it's stressful. Um, we find crazy ways to deal with it. We joke about things, you know, we'll go from, from eating dinner to, you know, pumping on grandma's chest uh, as she passes away on Christmas Eve to coming back and playing a game of Pollyanna. Uh, it's yeah. not that we're not sensitive to what's going on. It's just we see it every single day. Uh, and you you learn you become callous and you learn to compartmentalize it. Um, it's just part of the job. And the problem was it started it started coming home. Um, it was it, it started getting tough. I mean it just it got to the point where there's just so many outside stressors. This grew too quick. 
uh, trying to take on too much stuff and, and always wanting to do these things um, in, in areas that we weren't even familiar with, it just became too much. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, something that just causes you to kind of you know, shut down. Um, it was just, I don't know if it's self-defense mechanism or what, but it just kind of, everything kind of imploded. Um, it, it was good because we needed to reset. We needed to, to stop, uh, look at things, see where we were at as a family and uh, start working on relationships, you know, building back relationships with, with our kids um, and, and moving forward with that stuff. Um, it's been hard, it's still hard, we're still working on things, you know. Uh, our kids are fantastic. Um, we're, we're blessed to have them uh, back in our lives and, and we wanna continue moving forward with that. Um, we'll get into more of this stuff at some point when we feel it's, it's, uh, it's appropriate, just so we can try to relate to those guys that are out there that we're going through the same stuff. Um, we've uh, done a lot with Stephanie's parents getting into a life-changing motorcycle wreck. Um, completely altered the, the, the path of, of what we thought was going to happen. Uh, they were kind of our support system here. And uh, that changed instantly because of a drunk driver. Uh, smoked them on a motorcycle uh, back in 2016. 2016. And Stephanie, you know, stepped away from her role as a 911 dispatcher to, to take care of her family and take care of our family. Um, it's crazy how things work. You know, if if, uh, if everything didn't happen the way that it did, I don't think we'd be sitting here right now talking to you guys. Um, it could have gone a lot different, um, and it's still a, a work in progress. So, what we want to do moving forward is uh, show what first responders go through. Show how they deal with the, the stresses of the job, uh, you know, to deal with the stresses of family life, being gone away from, from, uh, from home for 24 hours, missing ball games, missing all these different moments, you know, because they're at the fire station or they're at dispatch or they're on patrol. Um, that's what our goal is. Show off first responders. Show off uh, what they do and, and who they are. Um, and show some of our personal growth. Um, I've, you know, we've come a long way and that's something we're, uh, we want to share. Um, and we, we still want to show the, um, the the cool you know fun side of the the first responder life as far as the the fire videos or the you know action videos and training videos and you know things like that that we've done and, and definitely um, another 24 you know and everything but also just bring in the real side of it because you know there, there is this this mentality you know sometimes that you just have to be tough and brave and you know that that's the only side of it but um but there is you know that just the real side that you know that yeah. all families you know go through and us that's why we wanted to take this time to have this video to, to really introduce ourselves and show who we are that we understand every single bit of it because both of us we're not just filmmakers we're not just out here with cool cameras to you know show off what everybody does we're living it too um, we, you know, military, um, law enforcement, firefighters, dispatch, um, every, you know, we've seen all the aspects of it. Our kids see the aspects of it. We're both spouses of it because I, you know, had to do shift work and um, EMS stuff and everything as well. So we, we're right in the trenches with you. Um, and that's what we want to show off, that you guys were all just awesome, amazing people and the world needs to know it. Um, and bringing us into it as well you guys seeing us more um that, i don't know maybe maybe it can help somebody you know that, that yeah. we're getting through it um we may have very unique you know <laughs> weird fun <laughs> ways of getting through it but <laughs> but we get through it and and you guys can too you know so and that's just what we wanted to do so moving forward uh another 24 is coming back that's yes. that's Definitely. A lot of people love that stuff. We, we, we know that you guys were, were always for it. You guys supported it. it the, the guys that were in the videos, the, the men and women that were, were featured, uh, loved being able to take that home to their family and show off to their, their loved ones and their friends what they do. Uh, they allowed us in and we, uh, we captured every angle and that's what we're going to continue to do. We also want to do some behind the scenes stuff like this, just a little bit more casual, um, showing how we do stuff, uh, what kind of cameras we use, so I'm doing some equipment reviews if you guys want to hear that stuff. Um, just whatever questions you have, you know, for first responders, we want to get out there and, and answer it and find a way to, to make it fun to watch, uh, something creative. Uh, need y'all to subscribe though.
can't say that enough. You need to make sure you hit those notifications, but all that craziness that comes with it, just to, it's free. You know, yeah. it's free. All you gotta do is put a little email address in there, get your YouTube uh, username and, and, uh, and hit the subscribe button. Um, because this is what we're, this is what we're gonna do. We're, we're coming back at it hard. Um, we're gonna be able to bring you all stuff that otherwise you wouldn't be able to see. The news doesn't even hit the tip of the iceberg when it comes to a, a scene. Uh, you know, or, or an incident. There's, there's uh, lots of layers to firemen that people don't know about that, or they don't get to see every day. We try to be tough, like she was saying, and, and uh, you know, we, we put that up, but there's, there's times when we have to just let our guard down, you know, and just talk about stuff, uh, be it to a camera, to hundreds or tens of people that are gonna be watching this, or, or uh, you know, or, or hopefully one day, you know, millions of people, but, um, let us know what you guys want to see. Let us know what you want to hear us talk about. And we will do our best to get it out. Uh, at some point. Thanks for watching. Bye. Sit on my hands. You like that one?